Hi there! In this video, we will have a look at Zemismart Tuya Wi Fi Blinds Driver. You can buy this one directly from Zemismart Web if they are shipped to your country or from AliExpress for around 60 US dollars. There are several versions of this motor. The reviewed one is a Wi Fi version with built in battery. You can also get versions that come with remote controller, which are slightly more expensive. The device comes in a nice simple box, neatly packaged against damage. Inside the box you will find a Wi-Fi RF dongle used as a bridge from the motor to your Wi-Fi network, a USB charging cable without the adapter, which you can use to charge the motor, a set of three different wheels that will suit your beat chain, the motor itself, a template for drilling the holes for the motor, a pair of screws with plastic dowels, and an instruction manual in English. You can forget the manual because it doesn't say even basic things. Luckily, we have YouTube to find the info how it's installed and operated. I also wish to thank Zemi Smart Company for supplying this motor for testing and review. Okay, so let's get down to installation. First of all, you need to install to your smart app on your phone. The app will be connecting to the Wi-Fi dongle, so you'll need an adapter to plug it in, which supplies the power to the dongle. This can be anything with a USB port as long as it is always on. I'll just plug it into an old adapter I have. Once into your app, just go to Add New Device, select Small Home Appliances, and then click on the curtain Wi-Fi. You should then use a paperclip or SIM tool to reset the Wi-Fi dongle and once it starts blinking, it is ready to be paired. This will prompt you to select your Wi-Fi network and enter its password. Be patient, because as you can see, it might take some time for dongle to start blinking. After the phone finds the dongle, all you have to do is select the room device is located in and you're good to go. Okay, now is the time to pair the motor with the dongle. This is done by pressing and holding the set button located at the bottom of the motor until the LED on the motor turns on. We can now try the connection. 
As you can see, it is working and I'm now able to make the motor turn clock or counterclockwise. While we're in the app, let's have a look at some other settings. When you go to the device menu, you can see device information, pair your Tuya account with Google Home, Alexa or SmartThings, rename the device, set its location, share it with family members, create group with other motors, check the network or update the firmware. Okay, so let's go to the physical installation part. First of all, you need to find out which of the roller wheels is best suitable for your bead chain. You can remove the wheel by using a knife or similar tool and gently raise it. Now let's take all the wheels to the bead chain and see how each works. Just move the wheel left and right and see if it skips or not. Then select the one which performed the best and use that one. If it doesn't work reliably, you can always change it later. So reinstall the wheel back on the motor by gently pushing. Let's measure and see where to put the motor. So, as you can see, my whole wall is made out of windows, so there is no wall I can drill in order to fix the motor, and I don't want to drill my plastic windows. Who knows what's inside and whether it would even hold the screws at all. So I have to be imaginative and find a different solution. I will try using a double-sided mounting tape. This should be available in any hardware store and is really the most useful thing. Let's hope it holds the weight of the motor. So now I will remove the motor plate and glue the mounting tape on its back. And now is the time to put the plate back on and glue it onto the window. Be sure that the bead chain is not too tight as there is a bead connector which will make it stretch during use, so don't tighten it too much.
And now the moment of truth. Let's see A. If the motor holds B. If it moves the blinds. <laughs> As you can see, it seems to be working just fine. I've had it mounted for several days and a double-sided mounting tape really does a great job. If you don't want to drill, this is the way to go. Just make sure you're using a smooth surface like plastic. Now the trickiest part. Before you start using the blinds, and mind you, this is not described anywhere in the user manual, you have to set the top and bottom limits for the motor so that it doesn't spin when the blinds reach top or bottom. I played with this for a while and find out that before you start setting the limits, it is best to reset the motor to default. This is done by pressing the bottom set button and then holding the up button for 8 seconds until the light blinks. After we have reset the motor, we can continue to set the upper and lower limits. To set the upper or top limit, press the set button, then press the up button and up button again. To set the bottom limit, press the set button, then press the up button, and finally press the down button. It might happen that your motor responds to the buttons upside down. That's why there is an option to reverse the motor. To do so, press the set button, and then press the down button. Final manual test. And now let's test it with the application. And since I already had my Tuya account linked with, to Google Home, I can also test it with Google Home Nest. Hey Google, open the blinds. Final verdict, very well built and functional device. So much that I'll be getting some more for the rest of the blinds. And if the battery lasts for several months between recharges, then it's really awesome.
Thanks for watching, and if you like my channel, please subscribe.